You are coming along with me over the shoulder style as we shoot, while I shoot, a ton of real brides on their real wedding day. So this is as raw as it gets. As you know, I'm a real photographer. I don't just play one here on YouTube. So what I'd love to do is bring you along multiple weddings and showing you exactly how I shoot so that you can hear everything that I say and hear how this goes and see the pictures that come immediately after seeing the video of how I took them. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And then look down towards my foot. Gorgeous. Take a deep breath through your mouth. And then let it out. And then look up at me. Good. Deep breath through your mouth again. Like relax your whole face. And then tilt your head. Feels weird, but tilt it the other way. The girl will slip in back that way. Yes. Is that good? That's perfect. Stay there. And then eyes up to me. Love that smirk. You can smile. <laughs> Seriously. And then look down this way one more time. And then look up at me again. Perfect. And then look towards Rob. Truth be told, photographing brides is one of my absolute favorite parts of the day. It's in the morning typically, so it's before she's seen her fiance, before they've seen each other, before they do the first look or walk down the aisle, and there's just so much anticipation. There's so much story there. No. <laughs> and then look out the window and like up out the window, yeah, like towards Rob's armpit. <laughs> <laughs> and then do like a big giggle <laughs> and then look at me <laughs> perfect yeah. we don't always have a lot of time though so what you will find between these three different sessions is a little bit difference in time and then also how many poses we can get through and then don't smile just breathe through your mouth so kind of like relax your lips and then eyes up to me again perfect my goal throughout any bridal session in the morning is to get close-ups, medium, and wide. Now, depending on where we're photographing, it's not going to work so well to get some wide shots, really because I can't tell you just how ugly most hotel room carpets are. And yeah, sure, I can light it so it blackens it out, but you know what that's going to black out also? Uh, the bottom of her train. And then unless I do some serious dodging and burning, it's just not going to be the magical photo that my client typically wants and hires me for. So... We do get a lot of medium, do get a lot of tight, but not always more wide photos, and those we'll have to do later. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am typically hugging any light source that I can find in hopes to shoot natural light. So we are always looking for a window, and then we can vary how we use that light, whether by creating a silhouette, shooting on the shadow side, shooting more flat, or somewhere in between. Would you just a veil with you. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to kind of lean on here. Okay. I just need to see what's happening with this. My goals are definitely to get a ton of details of the dress as well as photographs of the face. I am shooting with the Canon R5, so you're going to see that in action. And I have the RF 28 to 70 F2 lens, one of my most used lenses. Kind of 28 to 70 again. It's just it's such a workhorse. This lens just photographs everything that I need to, zooming in and out while having a shallow depth of field. So keep your eyes a little bit down. Yep. And look that way-ish. <laughs> and then up at me. And then turn your whole head that way like you're looking out the window. Yeah, right there. Of course, I play around. The EF-135 is one of my favorites when I'm photographing a bride. Also, the RF 85mm 1.2 all amazing amazing choices for photographing a bride nice i'm gonna do you want to get in there i'm gonna switch a lens so you're gonna come right really close to the reflector yeah. <laughs> i got a long veil because i thought about you so I didn't know that. <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> She's like long or short, I'm like long, long. <laughs> and that's once a long. Yeah. <laughs> so lean a little bit forward. That way when you look oh, down. this way or this toward towards you? Me, okay. That way when you look down, it doesn't hit your mm -hmm. eyelashes. Yep. So just do that for a second. Chin up a little, little bit, yeah. 
just the top, not the bottom. Yeah, I want to splay it out. Let me give you a little bit more slack. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna look like right towards the curtain there. Yes, that spot is perfect. And then your hands, mm -hmm. hold your acorn again. Yeah. And then just move your eyes up to me. You can smirk. <laughs> nice. Stay just like that. I'm gonna move the veil over that way. Actually, um, Jenna, you can drop the reflector. I'm gonna hand you part of the veil. And just go that way with it a little bit more. Yep. And then you're going to look right at the corner of the TV. Yeah. Should I still like hold the egg horn like yeah. this? Okay. So it's like your face isn't in it, but it just mm -hmm. helps your arms not be like pancaked yeah. against. I do have an assistant on every single one of my weddings. That is crucial for me because of all of the back and forth with the lenses, but also for the client experience. Here's the thing. Could I do all of this myself? Yes, I could. But then that would require me to spend more time focusing on my equipment than I want to. Yes, it's fast, but I'd rather spend that time and energy focusing on my client and being there for them, not looking for my lens caps or running back to grab another lens. Plus it is helpful having someone who can hold a reflector at any given time. Yeah, this is better full length, right? And then so my face in this way now? Yeah, right there is good. A cathedral veil is by far one of my favorite things to play with. So you will notice me playing with a cathedral veil any time that I can. Well, they're all money shots. If you're really you know, I was going to say that, if but yeah. Really money, <laughs> I just love, this is one of my favorites with like, the veil over the whole yes. dress. It looks so pretty. <laughs> it's a staple photograph. Most of my brides, when I start to do this shot, say something along the lines of, oh, I got this veil for you, or, oh, I know exactly what shot you're taking. And it's just fun that they recognize my work and are excited to be in it and be a part of it for their day. And then go ahead and walk to the window. You are looking at all of these photos edited, not by me personally, but by Freedom Edits. You can find them at freedomedits.com forward slash Vanessa Joy. That gives you a discount. They do all of my editing for me. So after the wedding, I'm going to upload all of the raw files to them. They will cull them, edit them, and then upload them to my online gallery. Uh, hands a little lower, uh, Heather. And then Heather, turn towards your left. Yeah, right there. Hang there for a second. And then we're gonna give you your flowers. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure how you're holding them is like front back. Usually the pins are towards the back. Pins are towards the back? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So you're gonna take another step. Oh, kind of like right there. Uh, turn a little bit more this way. And Jenny, can you grab the reflector? So when you hold it, yep. see the, the side thing? You want that on the side Got it. Okay. versus like Perfect. pointing forward so yep. you can see the texture better. Pull it like, like should we put it like, like here? In the, like, yeah. like, is that obvious so you can see it with the bobby pin? You can probably like tuck it you in. Usually do up where yeah, the wrap like is. Down yeah, like down it. into the wrap, yeah. This is also a great time to build rapport with your clients. It's a great time for you to get them comfortable in front of the camera, get all of those different types of emotions and everything that's happening that morning and you're there for it. Not many people get to be there. It's hair and makeup, but then they leave and then it's you and the bride and her family and her closest friends. It's just nice being there, building that rapport, building that trust, and then building on that for the rest of the wedding day. Yes, a little more this way, and I'm gonna have Jenna come in with a reflector. And tilt, so don't let these stems touch your dress, but Got tilt it. it towards me a little, yeah. Just right up there. Sorry, Rob. Mm -hmm. And then look out the window. Yep, right there. Like that. Clap sounded very official, Rob. <laughs> it sounded like a, like a movie clap. <laughs> nice. And then Heather, you can look at me. Perfect. Love it. Look down at your flowers for me. 
and like fix like where the pin is. Just kind of touch where the pendant. Yeah, just jump. That's actually perfect right there. And it turns away just a little bit. That's it right there. I think there's one thing. Go ahead and just kind of move it around a little bit. Yep. And then let it hang. Fantastic. You can do one more looking at me, but we're going to switch to the silver side. Yes, right there. You can actually step one more step towards the window, and you're going to turn your head a little bit out that way. Right, this one? Yeah, that's good. I'm sorry. Do you think? Nice. And then look towards the TV. Seems weird, but. <laughs> And then chin down a little bit, kind of look down a little like you're smiling there. Or you could smile there, that was yeah. a weird command. <laughs> look up at me. Nice. And I'm probably going to do one more for on that direction, but yeah. they're actually looking at us. You can walk over. Yeah, go ahead and walk towards Rob. And then, yeah, do a U turn. <laughs> I think I'm going to have you actually right there. Front. Just depends how the light. No, I lied. Here you go backwards. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna come in with a reflector. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, it's like thinking I'm not just That's right fine. towards you, <laughs> but it makes you look good. And then the flowers, if you can, kind of bring them almost to this side. Hold this them, yeah, hold them with one hand, and then the other. You can like pretend to play with the top of the flowers. Or yes, that looks really good. Keep your chin up while you look down. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and then look up at me. Good. Nice. Take a step towards the couch. Right there. Yeah. That is perfect. And then look down again. Gorgeous. And then up at me. Cheesy bridal smile. Nice. <laughs> and then grab your veil, like pull it over the shoulder. This way? Yeah, so we can see it a little bit more. Stay leaning as close as you can to the couch. Yeah. You could even turn a little bit this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way you can almost, that's much better. Should I face the window or? Yeah, that looks good. And bring the veil kind of like in front of you this way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that way you give it more slack. Gorgeous. Yeah. Nice. And then look at me again. Perfect. And then play with the veil, like hold the veil, but like bring it over the flowers and like just fuss with the flowers a bit. Yeah. I'm just giving you things to do. <laughs> Look up at me again. <laughs> People are more natural when they do things <laughs> versus like stop. <laughs> Thanks. Right, so let's fake let's your shot. Yep. Just take a little step closer and you can just reach in like you're, like you're fixing. Perfect. Depending on the wedding and depending on the client, some of the getting ready shots are very staged. Sometimes it's because they just need a little bit of guidance and they look to me for that. And sometimes because we want to get them by the right light or Sometimes in the case of this last wedding that you're seeing, the bride got completely ready in another room and then walked out. And that other room didn't have the best light in the world and I knew that I wanted to photograph next to this gorgeous big window that this salon had. So we just faked a few shots and a few getting ready pictures. It's also nice doing this because then there's consistency in the album so that when I start designing the album later and I'm putting all of these different pictures from the morning of on the same few pages everything matches and it looks cohesive and consistent before you put your shoes on i'm just going to do one veil shot with you yes you're going to go sit in the corner okay. but not on your veil okay so go ahead right sit over there okay. kind of like right by the pink pillow okay yep yep right. oh i like these hey <laughs> all right and just have a sit. seat so you might as well practice that now, not in the car. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing I have a couple more on this. Um, scooch by the pink pillow though, so you're oh, yeah. facing the window. It's yeah. a pretty spot right here. It really is, it's so okay. pretty. Okay. Do this like this. Nice, and then, let me see, yeah, keep your hands in your lap. Okay, perfect. And then you're gonna look right down this way. That's awesome. 
and then eyes all the way down. So kind of close them. Beautiful. And then eyes up to me. You Perfect. can see me you posing kind of firsthand smirk. here, but Just if you smile. would like to download a free posing guide that gives nice. you a little oh bit more God, inspiration for posing individuals, couples, and groups, head to bit.ly forward slash pose joy right or in the link below. And breathe through your mouth, just like serious face. And then chin down that way. And then just your eyes up at me. Good. And you can smile. <laughs> Love it. Hold on, because I'm shaking. I'm going to elbow you in the face. No, <laughs> like I'm really going to elbow you in the face. Awesome shot, right? <laughs> like for real. Anything. So great. Just do one more. Actually, babe, can you hold this for a second? Yes, he's that one. Yeah. yeah. OK. Oh my god, that's it. Nice. So turn like you're looking down to your shoulder. Yes, right there. And then look out towards the window. And look like at my elbow right there. You can turn your head a little more. That's uh, towards my elbow. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Gorgeous. And then reach up and grab your earring. And look. Yeah. And then switch ears. Perfect. And then just like hold on like this, like you're playing with your hair and your eyes are going to go right about here. Yeah, right there. And Rob, lower that a bit. Yeah. And then just breathe through your mouth and eyes to me. And take a deep breath like... All these little details are so important because they represent different decisions that the couple made throughout the wedding day, particularly the bride and what she wants to wear. More often than not, there is some kind of story behind a piece of jewelry that she wore or something that she has there the morning of her wedding. I love being able to capture that story and then tell it later in her album. And then that, yeah, I just want a picture of this. Yeah. Why don't you stand up with it? This was made for me. My grandmother oh my passed God. away in January, oh. so it's made from all of her stuff. And this is the dress she was gonna wear. It's a piece of the dress she was gonna wear for the wedding. Oh. So I just want a <laughs> you could look at it and then get like a, yeah. And it's one of her sweaters. Oh. I hope this real behind the scenes look has been helpful for you. I have a lot more of these coming. I GoPro'd myself for three whole weddings so you could see what this is actually like, not what it's like when I try to recreate it and teach you. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please tell me in the comments some of the things that you would like to see for real from a real wedding from my perspective. And as always, thanks for joining me here on Adorama. Please hit the, uh, the bell and hit subscribe and like and leave me some love.